Hi everyone, this is Mr. Kinsel, and we're going to do a little lesson on color theory, so understanding color. Um, a lot of you probably remember me talking about warm and cool colors. Um, our warm colors that uh, we start off learning when we are in uh, primary school are uh, red, orange, and yellow. They make us feel warm. You, know, you find them in the color of the sun. Um, and you also find them in um, the leaves in fall, which is uh, the season that we're in now, autumn or fall. Uh, so we're going to be using a majority of these colors or colors close to this. So maybe we have uh, reddish orange or orange yellow that we mix, or maybe we use all three um, to color leaves that we're going to draw today. We also have cool colors, colors that make us feel uh, cooler. Um, you might find them in like a snowman or ice cube or other things that you might find in the winter, things that will make us feel cold. And you can do that by using these colors. And some of those colors are blue, purple, and green. So um, the project that we're gonna do today, we're gonna use both sets. We're gonna use the warm colors for the leaves in the tree to give it a feeling of fall. And we're gonna use cool colors in the background. So the part that is not the tree, the things that is surrounding it. So first, we're going to draw a very simple trunk of a tree. And so this is mine. Um, and we'll draw it together. And uh, after we finish the trunk of the tree, then we're going to start adding leaves or circles with our warm colors. And then our background right here, all of the background, you're going to use your cool colors. All right. So we'll do a video together and I will show you an example. And then um, after you do your video, after you do your drawing, um, don't forget to do your exit ticket. If you want to send me a picture of your fall tree, I would love to see it, but you don't have to do it. I am looking for you to finish your, your exit ticket though, so that you can get credit, okay? So um, I will see you in a bit. Okay, we're gonna start the trunk of the tree. So the trunk is the part that holds the twigs and all of the leaves. It's the main part of the tree. So it's kind of like our body is the trunk and the limbs that come off our, our arms and our legs. So we're gonna draw the trunk. The good thing is with the trunk of the tree, you can draw it any way you want because every tree is different. So if you have a branch going off in the wrong direction, you might think it's wrong, but it's, it doesn't matter because trees are all formed differently. So here's mine. I drew it with just straight lines. You can draw yours with wavy lines, however you want to draw it. And then I just had some simple little branches going off of the main trunk. So I'm gonna do another one a little bit differently than the first one. And <clears throat> maybe looking more like some of you have seen trees. So it kind of looks like a road and it gets a little bit wider at the bottom. And I'm gonna draw some roots. Sometimes you see roots above the ground. The roots hold it into the ground. On this one, I'm gonna draw um, some branches going up this way. And you can always stop the video and restart it to uh, catch up with me. And I'm gonna make sure it looks kind of realistic. And then I have branches going off the sides. And then I'm going to stop there. I am going to add one more detail that my first one didn't have. I'm going to have a place for squirrels to hide. So I'm going to draw a circle here. And maybe just do a swirl. And then I'm going to stop there. Now I'm going to get my warm colors. And again, the warm colors yellow, red, orange, 
and then I'm going to continue with the drawing. Okay, you guys, there's a lot of ways that you can make leaves, but um, I'm going to use circles because I, I really like the shape of a circle. So again, I'm going to use my warm colors. I'm going to start with my orange. It doesn't matter which color you start with out of your three. Um, and if you have other colors that are close to this, feel free to use those. You can use crayons, markers, paints, whatever you have at home. So I'm going to do it with circles. I'm going to start just drawing circles, kind of like what we did with the knotless shell, where it kind of goes in, like with swirls. And then I can always go back and add more if I want with the orange. I'm going to use the red now and just kind of go close to it and over it. And the tree is starting to get full of what looks like leaves. And then I'm going to use my yellow. With crayons, it works really well because they start blending with markers. Um, they don't blend as well, but they seem to be a favorite with my younger students. But crayons work great as well. So I have the beginning of my leaves and I would probably continue doing this um, and have, have it really full, maybe go off the paper then I'm going to use my pool colors. So my purple, greens, and blues. And again, you can use crayons. Take the paper off, use the side of the crayon. It works really well. And then we're going to do the background. So I'm going to just add a lot of color back here. I'm going to go right up to the tree trunk. Then I'm going to use another color. That's one of my cool colors. Go around the leaves. And then I have purple. So there's a lot that I did not finish that I want you to spend time on and uh, really cover the whole paper. Um, I did mine portrait, but you can do yours landscape if you want. So landscape is this direction, portrait is this direction. So um, at the end of this video, I'll also put a picture of some examples of some that are complete. All right, right. I will talk to you guys soon. Take care, happy fall.